Hey everyone, welcome back to another Jazz Drummer Q-Tip of the Week. If you're new, thank you so much for tuning in and giving me a shot. I'm so confident that you're going to enjoy this lesson. You just, you just go ahead and press that like button and you're going to want to subscribe because many drummers have found my lessons helpful and I think you will too. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you eight ways to improve your swing feel and how to actually swing on the drums. And you're going to want to watch the whole lesson because I don't want you to miss out on something that could really help you understand better how to swing on the drums. All right, so the first way that you can improve your swing feel is to make sure that your upbeats, your up, upbeats uh, are swinging, right? Make sure your upbeats feel good. So to focus on our upbeats and the way they feel, um, we're going to only play quarter notes in the ride cymbal. There we go. Thank you, right hand. <laughs> and now we're going to play upbeats in the left hand on every beat, off of every beat. Okay, so sounds like this. Two, three, four, a one, a two, a three. So if you notice, if you listen to the composite rhythm, it's a shuffle, right? With all the different components, you'll hear that, that rhythm between the hi-hat and the quarter notes here in the ride cymbal. That's, what, that's the rhythm that it creates. Now, now watch what I do with the upbeats and watch what can happen if the upbeats are not so swinging. If we're not careful, of where we're placing those upbeats, that's what can happen. And now I'm being inconsistent. So sometimes I'm swinging, sometimes I lay it way back. Sometimes I play it more straight. There's a lot of room in there to adjust where you place those upbeats. So where do you want to place them, right? At the, at the very least, you want to make sure you're playing that third triplet, playing, uh, playing off of that third triplet. Triplet, triplet, if we slow it down. Triplet, 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 right? That's where you want to be. But there's even room after that triplet to, to, to move those upbeats a little later. Let's see what that sounds like. So we'll start with the true triplet and then we'll push it a little later and see what that feels like. Triplet, 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 triplet. So. Now it's kind of more like a 16th note. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. And believe it or not, at the slower tempos, everyone's placement of that upbeat is very different. Um, so you have to kind of be clear on where you want to place those upbeats, right? Um, so now, once you really kind of get comfortable with that, then kind of free it up and see what happens. Improvise off the upbeats. That's it. And you notice I'm still playing quarter notes in my right hand. And make sure every note you play in the in the snare accentuates the swing. And get really comfortable with that. And then make sure when you play your upbeat or your skip beat in your ride cymbal, it matches your pl the placement of your upbeats in your snare drum. Let's see what that sounds like. Two, three, whoops. <laughs> so here, so I'm playing it there. There it is. See, they should be completely in sync. Not like the 90s boy band in sync. There you go. Make sure your upbeats are swinging and you're gonna swing harder, I promise.
All right, for this one, I want you to focus your attention to my feet because the next way that you can have, you can improve your swing feel is make sure that you're playing with strong feet. And why would I say that? The reason I say that is because our feet kind of represent our foundation, the foundation of everything we do. So this is our feet and our legs are supposed to stabilize us, right? Keep us stable. And it, that should allow the upper half of our bodies to be free, right? So our torso, our arms, everything on the upper half is free to kind of do whatever they want to do. Um, and more specific to the drums, if we're thinking more about our feet keeping us kind of grounded in the time and in the pulse, now our, our hands, there's less pressure on our hands to do that. Because I see some drummers who are tr trying so hard to keep the time with their hands when really the time is first inside our bodies, right? It's inside. Then we got to make sure that, that ex the external representation of the internal pulse is in our legs, in our feet. And if you observe, my left foot specifically is playing the hi-hats very strong. And I, I like to use my heel-up technique. Not my heel-up technique, but heel-up technique because I can get a really strong and crispy sound out of the hi-hats with less effort than if I were to keep my heel down. I can't play as strong. Now, sometimes maybe on a ballad, I want to play a little quieter in the hi-hats. But generally, if you kind of if you can if you play the hi-hat strong, it's going to create a stronger sense of pocket. Pocket. Right? On 2 and 4. And my my right foot, I'm feathering the bass drum. Right? And that kind of I've said it many times, but the feathering is meant to be felt but not heard. It's just kind of meant to provide a sense of uh, grounded pulse, so to speak, okay? Then you add that with your hands. And you can kind of, you can kind of dance. You can dance with your hands. And the time is still very stable and consistent, okay? So play stronger with your feet. Make sure your feet are strong and your swing is going to improve exponentially. You know what the next one is? Sing your ride pattern. Sing your ride melody even better. Because the ride symbol. The way you play it, it, you should think of it like a melody. And this way, what happens when you do that, when you start thinking about your ride symbol more like a a melodic instrument now you're giving your ride cymbal beat more personality you're putting the the human element into the into the ride cymbal it sounds human and it sounds relatable and it has life and it's real it's not on you don't you're not just kind of on autopilot cruise control and not thinking about it and putting all your effort and your attention to everything else no this has life and when you think about the ride symbol like that, suddenly it kind of opens up a lot of things and it makes everything you do have more life. And uh, it sounds like you're actually, you're, you have personality. You have a personality. You're giving your playing more personality. So. And then, see? Now I'm kind of ghosting some of those skip notes in my left hand. And it also adds more of a, a dance element. Okay, so 
sing your ride pattern, um, sing your ride melody, and your swing is going to improve, I promise. All right, so the next way you can improve your swing feel is by relaxing. I see too many drummers really kind of being super tense and super tight and really trying to force the swing. And swing is actually a very relaxed feeling. When everything's in the pocket, um, there's a, certain, a, a sense of urgency um, and there's a certain element of intensity, yes. However, if you look at drummers who are really swinging and have a great feel, they're not tight or tense. They're very relaxed and actually at peace. And if you can kind of emulate that, try to emulate that when you're playing, I think it's going to really enhance your playing a lot. As long as everything that kind of everything that you're supposed to be doing is intact, like you're feathering and you're playing a nice strong two and four and your upbeats are in the pocket and they're swinging, you can relax and trust that where you're placing everything is swinging. Also relax your body, relax your arm, relax your hand. And that's gonna really help your swing feel much more relaxed and consistent. It's gonna help you feel better um, while you're playing and while you're swinging and it's gonna improve your feel. Hey, I wanna make sure you're aware that that bass play along track that I was playing with at the beginning of this lesson is available to you in my digital download store. So you wanna check it out. It's a great way to improve your swing. So the next way you can improve your swing feel, right? Is involve more syncopated rhythms, right? So swing syncopated rhythms actually accentuate the swing believe it or not so when you when it, when you hear drummers go bat boom bat bat boom bat boom bat bat boom bat 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 boom 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 ba ba boom ba boom and you know I'm singing my rhythms again there I go singing i know you guys get tired of hearing me sing i won't stop I won't stop singing. So all these rhythms are syncopated. Right? They're all syncopated rhythms that are actually helping the swing feel come through and be felt even stronger. Um, it's when you start squaring off your rhythms and play a little too square and you're afraid to, to uh, play any anticipated rhythms and any upbeats and everything's kind of on the beat oriented, that's when you're kind of killing the swing. We don't want to kill the swing. Well, maybe you do. Maybe some people, you know, there are some, I don't know, some drummers want to kill the swing. I don't want to kill the swing, and I think most of you wouldn't don't want to either. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. So um, involve more syncopation, and your swing feel will improve. Woo! Ah! Okay, so I'm trying to act like I'm playing with a band and I'm reacting and I'm interacting with the band. And even though it's not a direct thing that we do on the drums uh, technically, it's something that is really important that will help your swing feel. If what you're playing is detached from what the band is doing, it ain't gonna swing, I promise. But if it's connected, if everything you play is informed by what the band is doing, what the bass player, every note the bass player is playing, everything the piano player is comping, um, and everything the soloist is playing, I promise you, your swing feel will improve immensely. Okay, so keep your ears open and make sure you're, you're looking for moments and ways of interacting your swing feel and what you play with the rest of the band. Okay, so yet another way of improving your swing feel is by modeling your sound and your feel and your overall ride cymbal beat after great drummers, after great jazz drummers who have a great feel and a great sound, right? That tells us how to swing. All the answers are in the recording. So if you want to really develop that a, a good sound and feel in the ride cymbal, check out Jimmy Cobb, right? Check out Mel Lewis. Check out Shelly Mann. 
you know check out all these incredible drummers who have great feels and they all do because that was the standard back then so you got to model your ride cymbal beat not only your ride cymbal but but everything you do but since we're talking about ride cymbal feel right now um, and swing check out how they swing check out their comping how they comp and how what they comp really accentuates the swing and, and and propels the music right okay so model your swing feel after great drummers and your swing feel will improve i promise i keep promising but i really mean it i promise all right so the last of these eight ways to improve your swing feel uh deal with the intangibles what am i talking about the intangibles well i'm talking about um how much heart and will and intent right and conviction right uh and passion how much of those things are we playing with when we play, right? How much honesty are we playing with? Are we being sincere with what we're playing? Are we really saying something that comes from inside, or are we just going through the motions and just playing? Are, how much of the human element? These are all human elements that everyone can relate to. When, when people can relate to what we play and how we're, um, the, the feelings that we're conveying, then they're more engaged and more interested in what we're doing, right? And that's something that all the great masters of this music play with. They play with all these, all those intangibles that makes us want to listen to them and watch them and just be around them, okay? So when we're playing, you can't just go through the motions and expect people to feel what, we're, what you're doing. It's just not going to happen, right? You have to put your heart and soul behind every note you're playing. And that can be the difference between whether you're swinging or whether you're not swinging. And I think all of you want to swing. Don't go through the motions. You got to put something into it for people to get something out of what you're playing, okay? And be honest with what you're doing. Be sincere. Play with passion. Play with joy. Play with confidence, conviction, will, intent, right? Urgency. Um, and I promise you, you, I keep promising, I know, I know, I know, I know, but I really do promise that if you're paying attention to all these intangibles, your swing feel will definitely improve. All right, so that is the lesson, eight ways to improve your swing feel and how to actually swing on the drums. Um, and if you're really being honest with yourself and you're listening to yourself, you record yourself listening objectively to what you're doing and how you feel how it feels when you play um, then you'll be able to kind of make little small tweaks and changes and adjustments to how you're playing to improve your overall swing feel okay so have fun with them um, and as always practice hard but practice smart all right take care bye-bye